Hi everybody, this is Sharon from Hobby Hill and today we are going to show you a sneak peek into our beginner sugar cookie class for our Christmas in July. Now we have several cookies out, we're setting up for a class that's going to start, but I want to show you a few cookie decorations that we're going to work on today in the class. I've got right here a snowflake and a mitten. I also have some snowflakes that were already piped out with what we call as a flood to cover the cookie. We're gonna do a couple decorations. One is gonna be a wet on top of a dry. We can use some sprinkles or just let it sit with the color that we've picked. Or you can use sprinkles on top of your completed or dried cookie. So the way that you would do that is with your sprinkle. You would have a little dot of your royal icing and then you'll apply your sprinkle to where you would like that sprinkle to sit. Again, giving you a pattern right here. All right, so let's get started. I've already mixed my icing. So I made royal icing. I've put it into the consistency that I want with a little addition of water. And now I have my bags already set used a little rubber band on the end of it so that my icing doesn't come out the top. Again, I can have a cup and put those there or I can just lay them flat because they are closed. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with, I'd like to start with my mitten um, and I'm gonna do um, white in my mitten. And then what I'm gonna do, I've just gone ahead and I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of icing. And you can just do a small cut. And if you have to, go ahead and cut again. I'm trying to do an outline of the mitten first. Okay, so watch to see how quick it comes out. We've got a boo-boo stick or a scribe right here so that I can clean that up if I need to. Okay, and then you're gonna come back in and fill it in. So I just do a little squeeze right there. If your icing is too thin, all of that will fall off of your cookie. So take your time on that first time through. These icings were fresh made. They have not been refrigerated, nor have they been frozen. And I can just put a little more icing right in that spot, right there. And now I'm gonna clean up with the scribe right in the corner onto a paper towel. Now I did not do the band of the mitten, so I'm gonna do that in a different color. But I do have a separate color here and I have the red. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna do a wet on wet technique. So that is gonna um, give me almost a herringbone. So I'm gonna cut my red. I'm gonna come here so I make sure it doesn't come out too fast. So I can use my parchment paper, get my flow. And now what I'm gonna do is do a straight line across, straight line and across. I'll do a series of about six of those. I'm not too worried if I skipped a little bit. And then the other thing is, is I'm going to do it with the black. So it's going to give us a cool herringbone. So I'm going to go ahead and give us a cut on our black. And you can see on these bags that even though you cut the tip, this particular manufacturer doesn't take you all the way. You actually have to cut a little bit more. So see how thin that black is now? So we'll come down here. Got nice flow. So it's all about getting the correct consistency of your icing when you're doing your cookies. And it's July right now, so it's a great time to start because then you can go ahead and practice before the holidays. Don't add any additional stress to yourself in trying to do multiple designs get those set up now so that you're all set. And if you notice, the um, black and the red actually situate themselves into the white, so they sink back down. 
Um, that's a pretty color right there. I could just leave that cookie the way it is and then come later with the red band and the um, mitten would be done. But we're gonna go ahead and do that herringbone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down. Then I wait. Then I'm gonna go back up and it creates the neatest pattern that you have ever seen on a mitten. Again, take your time. Don't try to rush through your cookies. Otherwise, you'll make an error, okay? So that is all set right there. I'll turn that around. Look how pretty that mitten is right there. Again, we'll come back after the white and then the herringbone um, has dried just a little bit and we'll go ahead and we'll fill in here with red down at the bottom. Use your scribe push it away and now we're going to go ahead and do our snowflake. Um, I like to dry off that little end piece right there. Again, you're going to do an outline. So you're going to lift up, take it to the corners, come back down. Try not to um, use the actual cookie material to drag through you want to raise up as you're coming around. And you know, the more you do, the quicker you get. But the key here is you need to have a steady hand as you come around. And then if you're worried, just drop that into the inside so that you don't get um, any additional white in a spot that you don't want it to show. We are using three colors right here. I could do another wet on wet design or I could just fill it in and let it dry. And then I'll have a cookie similar to something like this. I'm gonna show you how to do the design on top in a different color. And then one with a little bit of the sprinkle. And then hopefully you'll sign up for a class with us at Hobby Hill and you can come in and make cookies and we'll give you um, an instruction packet. We'll let you make your own icings. And you know, if you have extra cookies then you can take that home to finish decorating. But right now we just have a setup for Christmas in July and that one is all set. And if you notice, I didn't take this particular one to the very edge. My icing is a little bit thin. I can feel that as I'm using it. If it was a little bit thicker, I could go almost to the very, very edge and then the cookie would be covered similar to like this one right here, where it's to the edge. So it's okay. We'll just leave that right there. And then since I've got the red, we'll just go ahead and show you how to do, I like to try it over here off the side, make sure my flow is good. Start from the outside point, go to the next point, gently turn my cookie, outside point to the next point, turn the cookie, great. And you know, snowflakes are different so um, every single snowflake is different so you could do little arrows there and then I could use a red sprinkle to put on top of this so let me grab my sprinkles and I'll show you what that looks like Right now that cookie is real pretty on its own and it would dry and you'd have a 3D effect or you could take your sprinkles and go over top of them. Tap it off and now all you have are some sprinkles on your cookie. So you're all set. And if you missed a little spot, add one right there and it's done. That's your um, sprinkles on top of your completely dry cookie. And now what we're gonna do is take this one right here and we're gonna add 
just a slight dot of royal icing on all of our points right there so that we can attach our Christmas tree sprinkle right in the corner. Great. Um, you may need to um, use a tweezer for that to line yourself up. Um, we're using gloves in the store when we're making cookies, but if you're at home making cookies, you know, you don't need to use the gloves unless you're doing it as a business or you're gifting those out. So we'll get you all set. And so, like I said, it's a little hard sometimes to get it. If you can pick it up with your glove and get it with your tweezer, that might be helpful. Lay it down and then this will dry and you'll have another type of snowflake. These are looking great right here. If you have any questions, let us know. But um, again, Hobby Hill Farm, look for our class schedule on our website of hobbyhillfarm.com. Sign up for a class. We've got our sugar cookie decorating classes now through the end of December already loaded. Um, we can also do this as a team building event for your company. Let us know. We'll have everything all set up. All you have to do is come in, take the class, and then take your cookies home with you.